Hey, Ryan Plus here. Uh, sorry, I still got a bit of a cold, so my voice is a bit weird. Um, I just got this t-shirt, and it's supposed to be having this nano coating on the fabric that makes it impervious to all sorts of waters and oils and stuff. But the weird thing is it actually works, so I thought the only way to properly show this is to do it by video. So that's what this is here for. So, um, let's just hope this turns out okay. No one believes you otherwise. Anyway. This is the shirt that I've got. It's this weird fabric and it actually is fully breathable. And I don't know how well this will show up, but you can see from that, it's actually, you know, a properly stretchy, breathable, bendable fabric, kind of like a cotton material almost. It feels a little coarse on the outside, but the inside is a bit smoother. Um, it's kind of okay to wear. Um, feels really weird at first you get used to it, but you do get used to it anyway. <coughs> so here's what you want to see. Let's just start with water, right? Look at that. The water just beads and goes completely off of this. Let's just move that over a bit so it's a bit easier to see. There you go. So no matter what you do, it just you can splash it and it comes up into little droplets and the droplets stay on the shirt, but only until you shake it and then they come off. It's, oh, got them going up there. It's really weird, and if you're careful, you can pull it and make a little pool of water. And, you know, you can splash it and make little droplets around the place, but otherwise, you just get it, shake the droplets off, and it's completely dry. My hand isn't dry, but that is dry there. Um, Interestingly enough, the water doesn't come off my hand onto the clothing either. It keeps my hand wet if I'm like that. Um, it doesn't come through to the other side either. Um, a small amount comes through if you press both sides together firmly, but otherwise very little actually goes through it. So, I thought I'd show you something else rather than just water, because that's impressive enough. Here we have um, a generic-ish <coughs> sorry, a brand of tomato sauce ketchup. So just to squirt some of this on there. So that's on there and again, I don't know how well you can see this, but it looks like it's on there. But here's the weird part. If I smooth this around, you'll probably see it start to do it. It starts beading in a really weird way in tiny little beads on the actual area. This isn't, see how it's really difficult to spread it beyond a certain area because it just beads. Um, but then I just get some water on that. See, even now it's starting to beat itself up as the dust's shrinking. But you just get some water on that. And I swear that is like magic. Now, if I do the same thing with my finger, I think it gets clean about the same way. But my finger is still wet now from that water. And that is, you know, completely clean and dry again. Um, so, I thought I'd try something a bit more extreme. Honey. This is seriously honey in here. So we shall see how this works. Please and dollop of honey. Honey is a little weird because of the way it's so gooey it slips and round, but it does the exact same thing. This finger of honey where I put the honey on there. But as you can see it's not sticking, it's beating again and running down. You can try to spread the honey out, but it still just shrinks and beads. And the really interesting part then is, I'm getting honey everywhere. I get some water on that, on the honey. And it takes a little bit just because the pressure of the water is essentially just being used just to remove it. You could blow really hard if you want to remove it that way. But using just water, there's a tiny little bit left. I'm getting water everywhere. It's gone. It's you know, it's clean again. My finger's not clean, and I think I got some honey elsewhere on it. But, yeah, this fabric is magic.
it's not completely impervious to everything. Let me just wash my hands. It's not completely impervious to everything. There are some ways you can actually get the fabric wet. I found if I switch to to um, warm or hot water, and then I use a soap detergent as well. Your hand soap. I'll do this down here. You can see right now it's all fine. But the combination of the heat plus the soap detergent. You'll see. Too hot for me to touch. Everywhere that they touch it gets wet, and actually gets wet through. So, after all that, water everywhere, it is possible to actually wet this fabric after all, but it takes quite a bit of effort to do something. Most things are generally resistant to it, and they are, even the fabric, the um, thread used, is the exact same as normal and just doesn't get wet. Anyway, I've made a bit of a mess of water here. So um, yeah, that's it for me and just wanted to show you that.